I'm Guy Pellet and today I'm going to show you how to work with the WebGUI config file. So let's go and create us a new WebGUI project. We'll call it WebGUI config. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the web config file. And you can see the web config contains a section, WebGUI section, that it's mapped it's mapped in the uh, config sections and it contains all sorts of uh, WebGUI configurations and what we want to uh, focus now is on the applications node. Every WebGUI class can be mapped to a WebGUI page which means that as opposed to WinForms application there is several root nodes for the application. In this example we have the uh, this class mapped to this page which means that when we will type in the browser form1.wgx we will get to this uh, to this class now let's go and design form1 and we'll add a label go to properties and call it form1 let's enlarge the font a bit Okay, now let's go and create us a new form. We'll call it Form 2. And let's design a Form 2. We'll add a label. Let's go to Properties and let's call it Form 2. And let's enlarge the font a bit. Okay, save. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add to the web config a new application mapping. It will be form2 and it will be mapped to form2. Now when I execute the um, debug, I by default go to the uh, form1 wgx and I can go to form 2 okay now if I want the debug to start at a specific page so that it's not the default I can go to the properties of the project and here I'll go to the configuration properties to debugging and here I'll change form 1 to form 2 by the way .NET 2.0 our version for .NET 2.0 does not have a uh, default page right now so here you add your default debug page now let's run the uh, application and you see we will go to the uh, form 2 application and form 2 will load okay now let's go and explore another feature let's say we want to have a uh, login form I'm going to add a new form let's call it a my logon okay let's go and edit the form a bit let's add a label and another label let's have the property page this label will be username This label will be password. Let's add a label for message. So here we can put our message, and here let's call this logon. clear okay let's go and add two text boxes have one text box and the other one okay now let's clear the text within the text box and let's give them names we can identify where's the name 
here it is. So the M obj user name. Let's call this M obj text password. And let's clean. Let's call this M obj label message. And let's do this M obj button log on. M obj button clear. Now let's clear the text within the message box and let's give it a red font and we will say text align in the middle okay now let's go on and do the logon I'll go and if m obj text password dot text equals web GUI and m obj text username that password text equals and here it should be equals also web GUI else let's do m obj label uh, text equals invalid user name or password okay and here we will clean this label let's do it like this and we will say context dot session dot is logged on equals true and let's go back to design mode Press on clear M obj text text equals clear. Let's do the same for the username. And we have to have another issue. Let's go and do using gasmox dot web GUI dot common dot sorry forms that authentication and we'll change this to logon form okay now let's go and map in the web config the authentication form let's go and map it to the assembly name is web config and the namespace is web config 2 and the class is named mylogon now what we should have we should have a logon form okay here it is let's type web GUI wrong gone we get an invalid u invalid username or password now let's do web GUI web GUI and we're in okay so that was the uh, basic behavior of the uh, configuration of web GUI that was the most important features of the uh, web GUI configura con configurations there are much more and you can find those configuration in the uh, developer overview and um, that's all for now thank you very much